Welcome back. You're watching Prime Meridian. And now that there looks an increased possibility that Greece might just have to leave the Eurozone, an action which could have wide-ranging impact, all even the critics would agree on that. But what sort of an impact it could have? Let's take a look at this report. What if Greece leaves Eurozone? Greece is a small country and contributes only 2.2% of Eurozone GDP. But its withdrawal from the single currency would unleash chaos in Greece and will have a knock-on effect on other Eurozone nations. If Greece leaves Euro, 20% of Greece's GDP would be wiped off and the country will have to adopt its previous currency, the drachma. Lending will dry up, small businesses in the country will go bust, there will be mass unemployment and Greece will eventually lurch into deeper recession. Depreciation of new currency will make imported goods expensive and drive up inflation. Holders of Greek government debt will suffer. And once a precedent of a country leaving the Eurozone is established, stability of the rest of the Eurozone will come into question. The Eurozone could quickly unravel if other members like Spain and Italy were to follow suit. There's a real danger the next six months. We see a number of misjudgments on the part of the Greek populace, uh, led, uh, I would say, astray by uh, Tsipras's a suggestion that Greece can renege on the austerity program and stay in the Eurozone. And there may also be a, a miscalculation going on by, let's say, German politicians uh, that Greece can exit without disastrous consequences. The major issue for the Greek economy at the moment is the liquidity crunch. And we have 25 billion euros which have been earmarked for the Greek banking institutions by the Troika. However, unless there is a government in place, these funds will not be released. And every week or month that goes by, it means more and more lockups for Greek businesses. According to US Bank Citigroup, there are 75% chances that Greece will pull out of the single currency in 18 months. I would like an anti bailout uh, 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 That will send a message uh, 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 to one Europe for changing Sudart policy and one with austerity Sudart, then to development. Uh, I don't want a coalition government. I want a government that will reflect the people's will. And the Greeks have answered, but they don't want what is happening. A possible exit from the Eurozone could start with prolonging of the electoral paralysis in the country. If the crisis continues, there would be no one at the helm of affairs in Greece who can negotiate with the lenders, that is the EU, ECB and IMF, for the next tranche of aid. The lenders could soon stop the bailout money needed and the country will run out of money as early as next month. This can lead to eventual default and exit from the Euro area. Business Desk, DD News. Ambassador Sikri, let me begin by asking you, we looked at that report at what possible implications it could have on Eurozone if Greece does actually leave. Mm. But let me ask you, is Greece such a lost cause? Because let's look at what's happened now. It's not thrown up a government. They couldn't cobble together numbers because there, there are parties which are pro-austerity and there are parties which are against yeah. austerity. Yeah. So there is a sizable yeah. chunk, and as you yourself said, there are 80%, according to some estimates, of the Greek do want to stay in the Eurozone. Yeah. So is Greece really a lost cause? Are we really looking at the possibility of them exiting Eurozone or is it too soon to say that? Well, I mean, there's still about uh, a month, mm -hmm. uh, four weeks before the elections, so things could change between now and then. Uh, uh, let's see what message comes out of the uh, G8. Uh, the Greeks and even the leader of the Syriza uh, uh, party uh, believes that, you know, Greece can stay on in the euro and follow his radical agenda. It's a question of a chicken, you know, they're, they're, they're hurtling towards each other and who's going to chicken out first? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. But uh, perhaps if the Greek uh, public realizes that a uh, possible exit from the eurozone is a, going to be a reality, then they may well vote back the traditional uh, uh, parties which are in favor of an austerity program. Okay. It's quite possible. All right. Uh, Siddhant, if, we, if I can bring you in on this point, uh, I mean, give us a sense of what happens next now because, you know, G8 is happening today, beginning today. They would, this is going to be top of the agenda there. Now, isn't it, isn't it better for the world to engage the Greeks rather, given the, the implications it would have, not just, as you were saying, on uh, the, the Greeks, Greece economy or the Eurozone economy, but of the rest of the world to engage the Greeks, try and make them see reason why they should you know, move towards a bit of austerity, put in their bit and see that how the world can go easy on them. 
well it's uh, easy to say things that they should engage but the thing is it won't go down uh, the austerity measures are go not going down well with the greek populace it has caused huge social unrest in the country uh, basically because of the austerity cuts austerity cuts which um, includes pension cuts cuts in the salary uh, i'll just say in the briefly that uh, few uh, the people you need to watch out are basically four people first is alexis cypros he is the leader of syria's left bloc he is just 37 year old year old but he can change the politics and the economics of whole of europe this this man is openly austerity anti austerity uh, by ideolo ideology but he has said that he will he is willing to negotiate with the lenders uh, on the bailout the next person who you need to look out is angela merkel and his her camaraderie with uh, mr alon and whether they'll come on the same page on growth and austerity the whole debate which is causing much divide between these two growth engines of europe and the next person of course is uh, us president barack obama america can help europe but let's see what happens after the g8 uh, summit ends which is uh, uh, which will be going to end soon and then two things you need to watch is one of course is the big greek election on 17th of june whether the anti austerity parties will make a big lead the sidas party will uh, form a government there and the second thing is uh, france and germany union well, whether they'll work out together to save europe rest of the eurozone and the entire world and the financial world all right sudant so we leave it at there thank you so much for joining us from the newsroom giving us your perspective on that and let's look at the g8 dead stricken uh, stricken uh, greece will of course top the agenda today at the g8 as leaders head for the talks uh, with us president barack obama on preventing a chaotic eurozone exit which could hit hopes for sustained growth leaders of the group of eight top economies come together as greece faces its second general election in just 6 weeks putting its eurozone future in doubt and dragging down Spain where the government is struggling to keep its banks afloat European stock markets opened lower after heavy losses in Asia overnight but then bounced including in Madrid a sign of extreme volatility as the crisis whiplashes investors who want uh, safety above all